Hi everyone, uh, welcome to GitHub India Constellation. And today I'm going to talk about how I teach GitHub with GitHub. I'm Satish Nyanaprakasan and I'm a corporate technical trainer working at RBS Educational Trust with 11 plus years of experience in teaching and training students in C, C++, Java, Python, data structures and algorithms, machine learning, Python for data science, Git and GitHub, databases, full stack development, statistics using R, linear algebra, etc. I'm going to talk about today uh, the best practices that I've used uh, GitHub and GitHub education tools in my classroom to uh, leverage the teaching learning process efficiently to my students. So I'm going to talk about three uh, best practices. The first one to start with peer assignment review. So this is the scenario. Uh, I had to teach 20 students full stack web development course, and there were four sub courses which needs to be covered. And there are at least 200 assignments and exercises I need to share with my students on a daily basis after every single session and get it evaluated. So now, other than evaluation, it is also important for me that all of my students should at least attempt the exercises and the assignments and solve most of the exercises and the assignments rather than um, the evaluation score that, are, that they are getting. So I came up with a process that gave me good results, really good results, which I couldn't achieve before without GitHub. And what I did is I have automated generating a random peer evaluation order along with the GitHub education tools. Now I managed to share the peer evaluation order in the GitHub discussions along with the GitHub solutions for every set of exercises that I release uh, through GitHub Classroom and enabled, and that enabled the students to uh, assign their peers um, with the repositories that the peer needs to evaluate. And the students can evaluate their assignments then, and then finally give the mark or score based on um, their assignment. And if you can see here, uh, uh, the students, you can see that the students have provided the feedback for the assignment, their peer assignments, which they have reviewed. And after reviewing their assignments, they simply come down to the form which I have posted and they simply select the peer whom they have evaluated in the assignment and give the score. So this encourages the student at least to go through all of the assignments at least once um, in order to at least evaluate their peers, you know, uh, rather than trying to solve the assignments on their own. And the second best practice, which I did was generating uh, GitHub pages. I wanted to have a separate course page, which is organized and structured and have training details, curriculum that includes lecture slides, lecture videos, references, books, exercises, assignments, solutions, quizzes, tests. And I used GitHub pages to create a custom static web page with all the details about the course, which basically acted as a single space or one destination for my students to find all the details of the course. They need no need to go anywhere else searching for other details uh, in other any other tools. And also I have managed to add the comment section um, provided by an external package by all well, these utterances um, block at the end of the page that enables the student to use the GitHub ID, their GitHub ID to simply add comments to that also enable them to collaborate and engage within the page's training page. And this is the repository uh, that I have all the assets and all the materials with. And I have also given the link for them to um, try the mock test, which will take to an external page. And this is how the GitHub static web page, final static web page looks like. It has all the training materials which the student can access. And this is the comment section that I've told you about. And in the end, all they need is a simple, it is a GitHub ID 
uh, to add comments and they can preview it and then they can post their comments. The best thing is that the, all the comments which they are posting is going to get added to the issues section of the same GitHub repository where I have kept all the materials. And guess what? They can also use the issues to reply back to the comments or add or edit something and that gets reflected to the GitHub static page. And the third best practice which I um, did was swell codes. I had to teach our statistics using our class, our course to my students. And for that course, I wanted to give to my students uh, a self-first learning environment, meaning I want the students to do the course on their own, provided what I want to, to um, teach them in statistics using R. And in every step of the learning, uh, they can use examples and, um, and, and information that I have provided within the self-paced learning and beyond it. And I came to know about Swell course to deliver, but the problem is in the distribution of the course to the students. So I then used GitHub to keep my course in a central repository and students can directly install the course in their local R Studio. R Studio is by the way, a tool, an IDE, which we use to run our commands and create our projects. And that repository is provided through GitHub. Let me show you how I did that. So this is the R Studio, and I had the courses in my uh, repo, the course created in my GitHub repository. Student can simply come to R Studio and start the Swell package and uh, install the course. And once the course gets installed, they can just start the course by putting their name. And in every step, as you can see here, the students will get specific instruction of what they have to do and um, also the concept of what they have to learn. And it also allows the student to attend, make an attempt to the quizzes. And this is the repository of the course that I had in order to provide that to the swell to enable the students to learn statistics using our course. And that's it. So. Uh, these are the three best practices that I uh, used GitHub and GitHub education tools to leverage the teaching learning process uh, in my class for my students. And thank you very much for the opportunity. And I'm always glad and happy to contribute something to the education community. And I hope these best practices will also enable the other fellow faculties to leverage the GitHub and GitHub education tools in your classroom. And I also encourage all of the faculties to try that. Thank you so much.